All right, so this is Marcus Trice, and I am doing a reflection on the browning or slow rusting of this Shenandoah muzzleloader. And it's interesting. Um, it was an interesting process, and uh, I, I enjoyed it, and I got what I think is a pretty, pretty good result. Um, I think that maybe I could probably, I know it's, it's after the fact, but maybe, um, maybe do another coat. I don't know if I can. Once it's done, it's done. Um, you know, it's hard to tell when you're doing it. I did, I think I did eight coats, but you know, when you go to cart it, you're, uh, because this is a, uh, hox, a, a hex orthogonal uh, barrel, you have the edges and, uh, you, you end up removing a little bit of the, uh, the rusting off of the the corners of the edges of the barrel. So, um, but other than that, you want so one really so when the light hits it, it looks like there's a very thin coat there. But other than that, um, I'm pretty pleased with the way that it looks um, and the coloration of it and how it ma matches pretty well. I think that um, these could have maybe been darker. Um, for the period, I think that they would probably have been have been a darker uh, rusting, um, and this is more of a um, burgundy marooned rusting. You know, it re actually reminds me of things that were kind of uh, from the fifties from Europe, um, things that had been blued on, you know, like like a, a Makarov or something like that. You know what I mean? Some of the the the, the hand uh, the safeties and and uh, other components have this kind of that plum uh, look to it or that plum rusting. And that's what it looks like to me. But other than that, I am absolutely thrilled with it. And um, if I were to do it again, I would pr I would probably either do this or maybe maybe attempt to blow it. I know that um, you can cold blue, but I think that you end up with a different um, type of blue, it, for, uh, more of a vivid blue. And again, then that probably wouldn't be as accurate as like the, um, when this was, uh, you know, when you originally had these firearms and it was a darker blue. But anyway, um, I'm pretty pleased with that. I gotta put the sights on it and, um, and then pin it in um, and then I'm done.